Welcome to DIY Project Party. My name is Ben, you're here, so let's get this party started. So I'm on the road this week, traveling for work, and I need to keep myself occupied in the hotel room. So what I did is I brought along my Amazon Fire TV stick so I can catch up on all of my favorite TV shows and movies. Just because I brought along the Fire Stick doesn't mean that this won't apply to like gaming systems. So if you bring like your, um, like an Xbox or a Nintendo Switch or a Raspberry Pi or something like this, all these directions will be very helpful in setting this up so you can play whatever media device you have on your TV and connect it to the hotel Wi-Fi. And because the hotel doesn't make this that easy, first step in all of these projects is grab a drink. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing that I noticed when I checked into my hotel room is that I'm given a very basic remote to control the TV. So I can turn on the TV, but there is no options to change the input. And the only button to get some sort of menu on the TV is this enter button. So, but once I press the, um, once I press the enter button and bring up this menu, I can't do anything with it because as soon as I hit one of these arrow keys, it either changes the volume or changes the channel. So the first problem that I ran into in this setup is that I need a universal remote. So you can find these on Amazon for around $10, or I brought my tablet that has an IR blaster on it. So I went to the app store and I downloaded an app that was a universal remote that would work with my tablet. So I, found, so I found this app called Sure. So I download it, install it, and then what I needed to do is I needed to locate the model number of the, uh, the television that I have. So the, the model number was right here on the side. So what I did is I did a quick search. So the app found uh, this particular LG model of TV, and what I could do then is it allows me to have a menu button, Doop and it gives me the arrow keys so I can get down to the, the inputs. And then I can arrow over. And there you go. Now you're on the correct HDMI input, so now I can start hooking up my uh, Fire TV. So sometimes, even before you get to this point, and even if you download a universal remote, or you bring one with you, you won't be able to use it because the hotel is restricting you from using these menus on your TV. So what I usually bring along with me when I travel is a crescent wrench. And I go into the back of the TV and I disconnect the, the coax cable. And the coax cable is usually the one that limits your TV from all of these uh, features that, you're, uh, that were built into the TV. And just be sure to connect it back to your TV before you check out. So next, after you have um, the universal remote working on your tablet and you have the right input, it's time to plug in your media device. So once this thing gets booted up, what you'll notice is that I can't access my account. And why? Because we need to connect this thing to the hotel's Wi-Fi. Now usually hotel Wi-Fi's have this captive portal and the Fire, TV, the Fire TV stick can't deal with that. So another thing that I always bring on, uh, on travel with me is one of these portable routers. And now what you're able to do is you plug this in to the power, wait for it to boot up, and then it usually has its own SSID. So you connect your, your, uh, your smartphone or your tablet to this SSID and you bridge the connection between this Wi-Fi and the hotel's Wi-Fi. So now all of your devices can connect to, to this router and then this router connects to the hotel Wi-Fi. So after you set that up in the, the portable routers uh, menu, what you do is you then log on to the hotel's Wi-Fi, go through the captive portal on a device that can handle that, like your tablet or your smartphone, 
And then your Fire TV Stick, your Nintendo Switch, your Raspberry Pi, all of these will be able to connect because you've already used your cell phone's browser to um, go through all the steps of logging in. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right, so I just plugged in my uh, portable router. And what we're gonna go through now is the steps to configure the wireless uh, on my, uh, my Fire Stick. So as we can see here, that uh, this is the hotel's Wi-Fi network. We're not gonna be able to connect to that because we need to go through the captive portal and register our device with the hotel. We can't do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for the SSID of our portable router, which is this one right here. So then it's gonna ask you for your router's uh, password. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna enter that. All right, after you enter in the router's Wi-Fi password, Hit connect, and then it'll start connecting to your portable router. So now once we go back to the home screen, it starts connecting with the Amazon uh, account that I have set up for this, and there you go. I have all of my, um, my Netflix, Hulu, and then I can go uh, down here uh, to Firefox, can even open up YouTube, watch it on a big screen. So now I can watch YouTube, keep up with my, my favorite YouTube channels, like the Viber Magic channel that discusses video games, and uh, BK's Bullets that brings us into the worlds of comics. Did I just plug my friend's YouTube channels? Well, yes. Why? Because a party's always better with friends. So you might be saying to yourself, um, hey, uh, the the uh, hotel Wi-Fi is usually pretty slow, and I can't stream any of these, um, you know, Netflix uh, TV shows or movies because you know they really just throttle your bandwidth. Well, what you can do is you can purchase one of these adapters from Amazon for for less than five dollars, and because your Fire Stick has a USB on the go, which means that the power input on the, the Fire Stick, not only does power, but it also does data. So what you can do is split it, but first disconnect the power from your uh, Amazon Fire Stick, and then take the splitter cord, and then locate the female uh, power, and plug in the power from the supply cable from Amazon, and then use the other side of the cable to plug that directly into your Fire TV Stick. And then take your USB drive, and uh, the last port that you have there is a full-size USB port. So just plug in your USB drive. So once you have that all connected and your Fire Stick booted up, use a file ex explorer program. And then what you can do is you can access the files on your USB drive. So the Fire Stick will mount the drive. So you need to navigate it. So open up uh, the drive and then you can navigate to the folder where all of your uh, TVs and movies are located. So therefore, you don't have to stream anything, you can just play everything off of your USB drive. Well, I hope you had as much fun watching this as I did making this. Uh, it was something to do while I, was, I had a bunch of free time in my hotel room. So if you like this video and you like the projects that I'm doing, please consider hitting subscribe, hitting the like button, and dropping comments below. So until next time, get out there and go make something and have a good time and make it a party.